Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solartech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 2D drawing once you've routed and completed your electrical project in SolarWorks 3D. As you can see on my screen, I've already opened up a completed enclosure and routed the 3D wires and I'm ready to create a drawing from this cabinet. On the SolarWorks Electrical 3D tab, I simply click Create 2D Drawing and SolidWorks will automatically open up a drawing sheet for us. As you can see, this drawing sheet is a little bit, looks a little bit different than the normal standard SolidWorks drawing sheet. Um, it doesn't have a title block, for instance. The reason for that is what happens when we finish our drawing. SolidWorks will actually send this drawing back to SolidWorks Electrical and it will use the sheet format and, and, and title block on the elect, from the electrical project. Okay, so let's go ahead and then we can just use the normal SolidWorks standard tools that we've got available over here. Um, I can simply drag and drop all the views that I've got on top of my drawing sheet. So we'll just start off with a view like this. Place that on top of my drawing. And what we can choose to do here is, again, um, we can place several projected views, or we can just simply change the scale. Of my drawing down here. Maybe let's go for it. One to eight view. Now, what I also like to do is, um, if you can see in the view, my wires are still showing, and um, I might just suppress them because I'm not interested in the wires in this view, or maybe even hide them. I've just got a nice, clean-looking view over here. Now again, you can choose to get a bigger, um, go for a bigger um, template size again if you want to. For now, I'm just going to show you some a couple of electrical commands that we can do here. We can let SolidWorks Electrical automatically create marks for each component. So if I create mark, of course I need to select the view first. What it will do is it will automatically fill in. F1, F2, F3, F4. It will also do the things for the rails and for the ducts, but if you're not interested, you can just simply delete the ones for the rails and the ducts if it creates too many marks. Okay, Let's see if I can get that R3 gone. Here we go. Now, another thing that we can do is um, once the 2D view has been placed. We can also automatically create balloons and a bill of materials as well. So again, a pre-select view, tables, maybe place a bill of materials, um, parts only, I'm happy with that. Maybe just place that on top, like so. Now you can see some components don't have a description assigned to it, for instance, my rails and my ducts. The reason why that is, is in the manufacturer data um, manage, uh, manager inside SolidWorks Electrical, it just doesn't um, have a description applied. So we need to go in there and actually apply the description if we want to. We can split the table as well. Just simply move this over to the side. Now you can see it also automatically includes the um, the drawings or the uh, sorry the cables and the wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of those rows over here. There we go because they don't need to be included in my bill of materials. And then the last thing that we can do is we can simply go to annotation, auto balloon, and it will automatically balloon my items for me as well. Now, once you're finished with your project, you can actually simply go to the SolidWorks Electrical Drawing tab and create a project 
drawing. And what that will do is it will actually save this drawing and it will put it back into the 2D project. Now if I click this button and I go to my electrical 2D over here, I already created one beforehand. So if we just open up this PDF over here, you can see this is a result that you will get from um, the drawing. So it will automatically come in with the actual um, title block of SolidWorks Electrical. Now, thank you for watching, guys, and see you all next week.